Stefan Winkelmann is spoiled for choice when it comes to company cars. Today, he's going for a spin in the entry-level Lamborghini model, which costs 170,000 euros and delivers 560 horsepower. He took over the helm of the Italian luxury car maker five years ago, and of course, it was only natural he should choose to drive a Lamborghini. Driving to work is often the first positive feeling I have in the morning. It's also uplifting to drive home in the evening. If something improves your mood, then it must be right, especially in times like these. Times when selling luxury cars is not easy. Sales figures are falling, but exclusivity is an integral part of the company's philosophy. Our strategy is to build fewer cars than demand requires. Our business involves exclusivity and maintaining that scarcity. Lamborghini's production center is located in Santa Gata Bolognese in northern Italy. The company has a workforce of around a thousand. When Stefan Winkelmann arrived here from Fiat, he found Lamborghini production inefficient. He cut costs and revitalized the revered car maker. I always look at a couple of points with the models and versions currently in production. The quality of workmanship when we know there are problems. Then I look at the chassis number so that I know where we are. It's something I never leave out. The chassis serial number indicates how many cars have been assembled before the current one. Total annual production at Lamborghini last year was 2,400 vehicles, a volume surpassed by mainstream car makers in a single day. But manual assembly also has its price in terms of time. Just 10 models come off the production line on a typical day. Time for a meeting with the head of production. In Italian, of course. The CEO was born in Berlin, but grew up in Italy. Good communication skills are a must, especially in difficult times. Recently, he had to announce reduced working hours for a third of the workforce. There's no language barrier. I know the mentality. On the other hand, we select our managers on the basis of ability, not nationality. We have people from the U.S., Holland, Germany and Italy. Ninety-five percent of our staff are Italian, but the main point is being a worldwide operation, which is why you have to get to grips with the global market. Lamborghini has indeed established itself as a global brand. Over a quarter of its sales are in the U.S., but it's precisely the American market that is Winkelmann's biggest problem. The carmaker has seen sales there slump by at least 30 percent. It's a problem that currently has the Lamborghini boss trotting the globe. He makes an effort to meet his more high-profile customers in person sports stars, movie actors, and big names from the world of business. Every single sale counts at the moment, and Winkelmann sees himself as a walking advertisement for his exclusive product. If you feel good and show it, then customers can also identify with the fact that you work for this brand. This is relatively easy. There are more difficult jobs than identifying yourself with this kind of brand. His confidence and charisma should stand him in good stead on the trip he is about to embark on, a 10-day trip to the United States.